Guys, look, <laughs> sponsor video or not, any game where a zombie can lift you up, manhandle you, and just make you his bitch, yo, 10 out of 10. Let's get into it. Loading scenario 127. Now, we shall see how impressive you truly are. Gamers and game, that's what is going on. My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. And before we get into today's video, guys, I do want to just say straight up and give a special thank you to Saber Interactive for providing me with a review copy of World War Z and also a giveaway copy for me to use and give away on stream. Oh, what's that? You're bummed out because you missed a giveaway on stream. All good, guys. Make sure you click my Twitch link. I'm going to put it right here on the screen. It's also in the description below. And follow me at twitch.tv slash 127 I do a lot of sponsored content when it comes to developers. Sometimes it's on YouTube channel. Sometimes it's streamed on the Twitch. You just have to be following on both platforms to figure out which one. But anyway, guys, today's video isn't about my channel or the Twitch. It is about this up. Well, I'm not going to say upcoming, but this brand new zombie game that just came out a few days ago called World War Z. And this game actually features PvE and PvP content. Now, me personally, I've never really been too much of a fan of zombie games, but this one has been piquing my interest since it was revealed at E3 last year. I was pretty excited about it, and just, just because of how dynamic it looks. Now, it is um, modeled after a movie or a TV show called World War Z, which I've never seen or watched before, so I don't know too much about it, so don't expect me to talk about a bunch of lore in the game and things like that. I'm just here to talk about the game, tell you guys what I like about it, what I dislike about it, and all that fun stuff. So for starters, it's your typical um, zombie survival game. You guys know how it how it works. Um, you are stranded, you and four friends, you're in some type of some type of a level, and guess what? Hordes and hordes of undead are going to come after you and try and eat your throat out. But however, this isn't one of those typical, you know, just survive till you die kind of things. It actually does have a sense of progression, which is something I really do love and enjoy about this game so far. Uh, the reason I couldn't get too much into Call of Duty Zombies is because it's kind of just never ending. I never really felt like, you know, there was a goal or an end game or a purpose to it. Call of Duty Zombies got a lot better, but, you know, I just never really got into it. The only reason I really used to play that Zombies mode was to get the achievements because I like to have all the achievements in my COD games. But this one, you know, actually gives me a sense of progression, and that's all the way down to your leveling of your of your um of your of your um account, your profile on on the game. Your account has a level. Your characters have a level. Your classes have a level. Your weapons have a level. There's all kinds of different things to do in here. Level up and progress. Hell, it's almost got kind of got like the progression system of a of a looter shooter to an extent. Except you know, you're just um. Leveling up different formats. There's all kinds of different classes, and that's in both the PvE and the PvP modes, which is an awesome thing. And it's not typical like most shooters where, you know, your guns level up and you just unlock more attachments to get to put them on how you want. Your gun evolves more so into stages. Once it hits level 5, it gets like a red dot sight. Once it hits level 10, it'll get a red dot and a silencer. Once it hits level 15, it'll get a red dot, a silencer, and a grip. And so on and so on and so on. And that's a pretty cool thing. And there's also perk points you get in the game as well to unlock different um, features and benefits for your class. Like um, one class, let's say um, the class that drops like explosive ammunition. Well, if you unlock a perk, you can have that explosive ammunition recharge 10% faster, or it can do 5% more damage if you have that class at level 10, or you know, thing, things like that. There's a, there's a medic class, there's all kinds of different assault classes, and the cool thing about this game is every single class has benefits that, um, that helps out. You know, there's never just um, a need for one specific class. Every different class in this game, you know, they're all unique, they all help and support each other, in different ways you know not every team needs you know a um an assault guy a medic this person and that person you know all kinds of different combinations work because they all have multiple different purposes that all help out in the levels and that's a really cool thing and the same thing with the pvp mode now um one thing i will say about this game is it's probably one of the most visually impressive games i have seen this generation and that's um 
That is no no exaggeration. Like the way this game delivers the waves of zombies and you know the amount of just you know enemies coming at you on the screen is ridiculous. I never even thought consoles could handle this kind of thing, but you know when my Xbox and PS4, you know, just just ate that stuff up, I was like, "Wow. These consoles, you know, they re they really do have some power." And you know, it just this is just another prime example of, you know, what this of what um games this generation can do. But um, enough with the PvE side. Let's go and talk about PvP because PvP is kind of where some of my problems come in with the game. First and foremost, um, I have to say that World War Z has a very solid PvP at its foundation. And with some minor changes, it can really be good and groundbreaking. Like if you take World War Z's PvP and you compare it to other um, shooters like uh, Call of Duty, Warface, Battlefield, anything out there you know that you just play typically shooter-wise... Um, you'll be able to see these little um, mishaps that they have in this game. Um, one thing that did bother me is the um, the pre-game lobby. I don't feel like it gives you enough time to pick your character and class, especially a person that's new to the game who's going to want to scroll through that long class list. Keep in mind, guys, in PvP, there's like 10 or 12 classes. There's a lot of different classes, so it's not something you can just scroll through in five seconds. Every single class has a main weapon, a sub-weapon, a ultimate weapon and some type of like buff or pack that you know it gives through so it's not something you can exactly just you know scroll through in a in a few seconds i feel like the lobby times do need a little bit longer to you know let you choose your weapon and stuff like that um another thing i did notice that really annoyed me as well is um you can't change classes mid-game now i do think that's kind of silly i believe you know they should add the option you know with your death and things like that you should be able to um you should be able to, you know, to swap classes um, during during a PvP match. That's not really, really um, too much of a big deal. The hit detection in this game is pretty good. I do feel like it um it needs a little bit more work work in 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 that, um, in that department. No weapons felt, you know, um, underpowered. Nothing really felt, you know, like too OP or, uh, or or anything like that. I think the maps are designed pretty well. The one thing that can be a little bit annoying is the zombies, you know, jumping in. While you're in the middle of a PvP match, you know, you could be in a hardcore gunfight, three people on you, and next thing you know, a horde of zombies come into you. But that's just, you know, all things where, you know, you need to learn, adjust to the game type and stuff like that. So I'm not going to complain and harp too much in that in that position. I think that is something that's, that's really cool. But this PvP is really good. Like I said, it's a really solid PvP in this game. And I feel like, you know, with some minor tweaks and changes... And stuff like that constant updates and you know work on the servers and things a little bit of balancing and um, fixing of the of the hit detection and, and stuff and stuff like that I think you know this PvP will be really solid depending on you know how they do future DLC if they add future content to this game and stuff like that I do like how there's different players different on playable characters and stuff like that hopefully you know they get skins and they become customizable later on I'm not trying to encourage microtransactions but Guys, if there's something else, you know, for you to do in the game to, you know, to add some fun grind to it, I don't, I personally don't see a problem, a problem uh, with that as long as, you know, they don't get too crazy, crazy um, monetization wise. Other than that, the only thing that really did bug me is I hate how um, you can only play one of each character in, um, in story missions. I do think that's kind of silly, especially when no specific class is tied to a specific character. Why not just let you play any character you want in the PvE, like the PvP? Like, I understand the game's modeled after a TV show and a movie, but it's a it's a video game. It's supposed to be, you know, fictional. You know, just, um, don't, I, I personally don't think these limitations should be in the game. That's just, that's that's my personal opinion. But other than that, guys, I think it's a really solid, um, and fun, fun zombie shooter, PvE and PvP-wise. I feel like it, it'll, um, it'll appeal to both types of audiences, people who, like, uh, you know, zombie experience games, and people who, you like, you know, who can appreciate a good tactical shooter. I think they'll have a lot of fun with this. But anyway, guys, y'all enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for me, and I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127, and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.